From our uh, perspective within Zurich, it was bringing the customer in to every single conversation we had, every single meeting we had. They were in our weekly sprint transitions. They were sitting with us um, for, the, for half a day every single week. They were on our daily stand-ups uh, and really bringing, because we all talk about listening to our customer. When they're in the room, hearing all of the conversations and, also, and contributing to them, for me that was a real, a real step change, a real shift, um, the remarkable bit. Today we're out and about talking to pet owners and we're asking them this one question. What was the last thing you typed into Google about pet care? Is it okay for Westies to have rashes? About um, foods he's eaten and if they're dangerous or not, so like grapes, things like that. I've got a nursing bitch and I wanted to know how soon she could actually go out safely. If it's all right for two different litters for the puppies to mix. I was looking at how often you have to worm them and how to do it and where to get the stuff from. Can my guinea pigs eat pomegranates? What's the best cages to buy for my cockatiel? How do you sex a guppy? I Google everything. What to do if your dog's lim limping, just to see what sort of symptoms and what I needed to do with him. A big cat and he just started peeing in our bed, so I Googled why was he being so naughty. Are there sick bags for cats? He had a chest infection when he was really young, um, when I moved house. But I just took him straight to the vets because there's so much bollocks on the internet. It's just not worth, it's just not worth it's freaking out over. Okay, so I got a border collie. She got a bit of a prolapse problem. I did some research online, but I couldn't find anything exactly to what she had. My daughter looked up Google for um, a problem with our rabbit's eyes. I do tend to look things on the internet in general, but for my pets I tend to ring my vet. I noticed he had some little bugs um, in his skin, so I was a little bit worried. Went on the website to research it and found out that they were ticks. I went on to Google and I just checked, you know, cat, my cat isn't eating. She gets allergic to flea bites, and so I was looking up the different types of flea spray or whatever, or drops that you can use. I typed in how to get rid of fleas because I had lots of fleas in my bed. Is having a dry nose and a dog normal? Okay, so my dog is called Millie. Um, just to find out how, how much I should be walking her per day, because obviously the amount that she can walk has dropped down a lot since she had meningitis. I'm Chris, um, Chris Ironman. I'm the head vet and um, owner of Companion Care in Exeter. There's nothing wrong with going on the internet. I like the internet very much myself but um, I would just um, advise people to be really critical um, what they are actually reading. People are going on the internet, um, coming in with a preformed opinion or even um, self-made diagnosis um, becomes more and more common, becomes um, a problem um, which can potentially be really dangerous. Not only is it time consuming to talk um, the, the self-diagnosis through and, and maybe um, explain to people why their made diagnosis isn't isn't correct or isn't very likely, um, but it can potentially be dangerous to the dog or the cat. Rather than consulting Dr. Google, as we call the internet, um, we are open seven days a week. Um, we don't charge for phone consultations. Um, people are always welcome to call for advice and we, we give that free of charge over the phone. Yes, your suggestion is perfectly okay, nothing wrong with it, but to a degree that service exists and exists free of charge where I think um, an app like this probably would need to be paid for.